Hello friends, welcome to SQL practical question video series. In this video, we are going to see one of the most useful aspect of the SQL and these scenarios will be typically using in the day to day activities. Also, this is one of the most important uh, scenario based interview question also. So basically what we are going to see today is we are going to see two SQL. One SQL to convert a row of data into a comma separated string and another SQL to convert a comma separated string into a row of data. For that, let us take two examples. Let us take one example to convert a row of data into a comma separated string. So basically what I have taken is a table which contains a department wise employees. For example, in this case, we have two columns, department number and e name. So there are few people working in department 10, few employees working in department 20 and few employees in department 30. So we are going to write a SQL to convert this information into department wise comma separated employees. So this is our first scenario. In the second scenario, we are going to see exactly reverse of this case. So our input is a comma separated string, whereas we are going to write a SQL to convert this comma separated string into a row of data. This is what we are going to see. Let us start with our first scenario where we are going to write a SQL to convert a row of data into a comma separated string. So let me create the table T with two columns, department number and E name. And I'm just populating few employees in department 10, few employees in department 20 and few employees in department 30. I'm committing the information. Let me query from the table. So now let us write a query to convert this row of information into a comma separated data. So let me select department name E name from T. So basically what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use the list ag aggregation function. So let me say list ag of E name comma. We need to give the separator string. So I'm using the comma. You can use any special characters here. Then we need to say within group how you want to order the elements within each group. You say order by E name. So in this case I'm saying order by employee name. Then since we are using the list tag, it is an aggregation function or a multi row function. We have to use the group by class because we have used the department number in the select class. So this is the query to convert the row of information into a comma separated list of information. Okay. One more very important thing. So this within group uh, class, this class is not mandatory if you are working from 18C onwards. In fact, the current version, what I'm using is, let me show you. The database which I have connected currently is 18C database. So in that case, this within group class is not mandatory. Even without this within group class, this query will work fine. However, in 12C, if you try to execute the same query, you will get an error. Let me show you exactly the same information in 12C database. So here I have connected to a 12C database. Let me show you the V$ version information. You can see that I have connected to 12C. So let me create the table. Exact. Okay, the table is already there. So let me just drop the table and recreate it. So I have created the table. I am just populating exactly the same information and I am just committing the data. Let me query from the table. I am executing the same query here, right? So with within group class. So it is executing perfectly. However, if you comment this portion, that is, I have commented within group class. If you have commented or removed this portion, you will get error saying missing within keyword. So in 12C, this class is mandatory. That is the within group class is mandatory. However, in 18C onwards, this is not mandatory, fine. So this is the query we have seen. The key learning here is the list aggregation. Though this function is introduced in 11G, there are a lot of uh, new enhancements done in this function in 12, also in 19C. In fact, all this information I have already covered and the link of these two videos are given in the description. Now let us see the second scenario on how to convert a comma separated string into a row of data. Let us see how to write it in SQL to achieve this functionality. So now I'm just dropping the table. I'm just recreating the table T with two columns, department number and E name. Now I am populating the department number and comma separated list of employee names. So let me just commit. 
so let us query from the table select star from t so let me select department number comma e name so basically what we have to do is uh, based on the number of employees we need to replicate the rows for example for department number there are three employees working so we need to replicate that particular row three times department 20 there are two employees working so we need to replicate that particular row two times so for that what we can do we can use the regular expression count function to know how many employees are working so let me put e name i'm going to uh, count the number of comma in that so in first string that is in department number it is returning two that is because there are two commas are there so let me just put plus one because the re uh, department 10 we want to replicate twice the department 20 we need to replicate two times because there is only one comma that is the reason i put plus one here and department 30 anyway we need to just replicate only once now what i'm going to do i'm just going to use the lateral class here lateral select level from dual i'm just going to use the connect by class connect by class connect by level less than or equal to i'm just going to use exactly the same regular expression function here now if you see department 10 is replicated three times department 20 is replicated two times and the department 30 is replicated once so now what i'm going to do i'm just going to use the regular expression substring function to extract the informations from ename ename comma so this is the uh, pattern slash w okay plus so you say one comma l uh, so this slash w will help us to extract the alphanumeric character so wherever based on the or non alphanumeric pattern exists so it will help us to return probably i will cover the regular expression alone in a separate video series because that itself is a quite a vast area to cover fine so let me just execute this now you can see we just extracted ravi ragu and raju in a separate row so now let us comment whatever the columns that is not needed comma is missing yeah yeah now you can see we just converted a comma separated string into a row of data so here is the query so the key learning here is how to replicate using the lateral join in fact without using lateral join also it is possible however it is a bit complicated so that is the reason i am using lateral join if you want to know how to use without lateral join i would suggest you to watch this video because in this video i have explained about what is a lateral inline view and how to implement this without lateral also and what is the difference it brings in okay if you want any questions to be answered you can post it in the comment section or you can drop to this mail id but before that you can check whether a similar question has already been posted as part of subscriber question series or as part of the interview question series if you are not able to find your question here please write back to me i'll be happy to record and post as a new video if you have learned something new please like this video subscribe and stay tuned for new feature video interview question sql practical question concept videos and thanks a lot for watching this video Please click the bell icon if you want to receive the instant notification whenever new videos are uploaded into this channel. Thank you.